home for us this evening. Hey, Lainey. Yeah, definitely like hearing that violin. That was gorgeous, right? Well, you know what? I'm not sure my teenage boys enjoy me blaring the loud music early in the morning, but that's the way I wake up, all right? Well, you know, out there today, we had temperatures close to 80 degrees again, so it was warm, and we also had a few storms roll through. Now, we are going to continue to showcase our folks who are out there serving our community, and this is a photo sent to me from Joanne Call. This is a picture of her husband, and he works for Tyson Chickens. So he is getting the job done out there. Make sure you continue to send me your photos on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be sharing them here as well. Let's check out the scene out there today where we had sunshine over Belize Lake, at least briefly, and then, yeah, showers and thunderstorms rolled through. They were very quick, didn't bring a whole lot of rain, but definitely brought a lot of wind, some gusty winds out there, some 40, 50 mile per hour gusts. I'm going to show you some of the damage that we had across the area. These were not technically severe storms. You need a wind gust close to 60 miles an hour, but yeah, kind of scary for some folks. Now, if you're going to be heading out tomorrow for takeout, if you're grabbing lunch, you've got temperatures in the upper 70s. Once again, tomorrow, we're going to be in the low 80s, and we do have that storm chance. Again, few and far between, very spotty storms are in the forecast. Temperatures will be a lot like today. Once again, we should make it into the low 80s. Our morning temperatures are in the 50s, but we've got some much colder air coming up on our seven-day forecast. Temperatures right now ranging from low 70s in the mountains to upper 70s all the way to the east in the triad. Now, this photo was sent in from North Wilkesboro. Thank you, Courtney Johnson. She said all of a sudden the storm came up this afternoon just after one o'clock, knocked over the baseball goal, uh, basketball goal, I should say, out there on the driveway. And then this photo, from Marcia Jennings from Miller's Creek. She had some patio furniture that was picked up and carried off. Also, you can see there the netting on the trampoline from that storm. Now, thankfully, not a lot of widespread damage across our area. We were taken out of the slight risk this morning, and most of the storms were pushed a little farther to our north. So you can see the storms, though, that did roll through from Wilkes County through Yadkin County and then into the triad before weakening and moving off to the east. We did get some rain with it, but not a whole lot. We do still have some clouds out there, and some folks have already asked me, are we going to be able to see the full moon? I do think the clouds will thin, and yes, this is an April super moon out there, so you'll be able to check that out. It's also called the egg moon and the pink moon, as well as the grass moon. Tomorrow morning's really mild. Temperatures will be in the 50s across the area. Once again, the focus is along this front that is pushed farther to our north. That's why most of the severe weather today was well to our north. Tomorrow, most of it will be to our west, out over Missouri, as well as Kentucky, but we do have at least a chance that we could get an isolated, strong to severe storm, kind of like what we saw out there today. Our rain chance at 30%. Temperatures will once again be in the low 80s for both the triad, as well as the foothills, and it's definitely going to be a windy day out there tomorrow with a west wind at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Our mountain temperatures are going to be in the mid-70s by late day. Let's look ahead at our seven-day forecast. You're going to see some 30s that I still have in the forecast for Saturday morning, a lot of wind with that front that comes through Thursday into Friday, and then for Easter Sunday, right now it looks cooler as well as wet.